Hi guys, welcome to my new video and this video is about Azog and his history, so I hope you enjoy. What's wrong Mr Frodo? Get off the road, quick! Get off the road, quick! Azog was a powerful orc who claimed rulership over the abandoned dwarvish mines of Moria during the Third Age. He began the leader of the goblins of Moria and initiated the War of the Dwarves and Orcs in the year 2790 of the Third Age by beheading King Thror, who had come to revisit the ruins of the ancient dwarven kingdom of Moria. At some point, he had a son named Bolg. In the following years, Azog was the common enemy of all dwarfs, and the war he started had its climax in the Battle of Azanul Bizar, where he killed Nain, only to be himself slain by Nain's son Dain, who would later become King of Doomings Folk. His son Bolg inherited the reign in Moria and continued it for decades until his death at the Battle of the Five Armies. Azog entered history in the year 2790 of the Third Age due to King Thor's desire to revisit and perhaps restore the lost realm of Kazakh Dum. When Thor was found in the armories of Kazakh Dum, he was brought before Azog being accused of thieving. He tortured Thor for two days until he was informed of a second dwarf outside of Moria. He decided to kill Thor after he defied him with the words, These are the halls of Durin. He beheaded Thor and carved his name in Thor's head, then threw Thor's body over the stairs. Azog then called out to Nar, the other dwarf from the gate, demanding that he deliver a message back to Thor's people warning that beggars who dared to enter Moria and attempted thievery would meet a similar fate. Azog then called out that he killed Thor and that he now ruled Moria as king. His name in ruins was carved onto the brow of Thor, forever branding it into the heart of all the dwarfs. Nor, who was barred from retrieving the head of Thor and the orcs threw him a small pouch of coins of little worth as a final gesture of scorn. Nor took the pouch, turned and fled. When he looked back, orcs had emerged from the gate and were hacking apart Thor's body and flinging the pieces as Karen for the ravens. When the news of this reached Thor's heir, Thrain, he was greatly angered and mustered a force of dwarves from the house of Durin and others to seek revenge on Azog. Though it took three years to muster their dwarves, so began the war of the dwarfs and orcs. The dwarfs hunted Azog and many battles were fought beneath the earth. After nine years of war, before the gates of Mori itself, the climactic battle of Azanu Bizar was fought. In that battle, Azog was pursued through the gates of Mori, killed and beheaded by Dane, son of Nain. His head was impaled on a stake and the pouch of coins he had thrown to Nar was stuffed into his mouth. Except for Thrain, the dwarfs made no attempt to press their advantage by pursuing the orcs into the mines. Many of them had been slain. They warned Thrain against entering Moria. Dane had glimpsed Durin's bane deep within and warned the dwarfs to not attempt entering Moria. Azog's underground realm's population had been greatly reduced in the war and his reign passed to his son, Bolg for the next 150 years until Bolg's death in the Battle of the Five Armies. I say thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you to Mayram Shasha Suzanne for the suggestion. Please hit the bell button next to the subscription button, which means you get all the notifications on my new uploads, which I do upload weekly. And I hope you have enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, comment and peace.